I'm really gonna work on my patience. Hey guys, today I wanted to share a conversation I had with artist and educator Michelle McKinnon about patience. Now she is also a patience Jedi because she creates these really beautiful and intricate works of art. I'm a very hands-on person. I like the repetitious labor of going in and creating something by hand. When I started drawing, it wasn't it wasn't knit things. It was mostly portraiture. Okay. So I started this kind of layering process of drawing and erasing and drawing and erasing and drawing and erasing. And it, I found for me when I was doing it, first I thought like, this is a huge space and I have to do a lot of this. This is going to be incredibly annoying to do. But as I started doing it, I was like, this is soothing. Patience is a super underrated skill when it comes to mastery. Becoming comfortable in the multiple repetitions is where most people get frustrated and give up. But the people that stick with it, those are the people that find the beauty in the nuances of detail, time, and space. And they're the ones that go on to becoming self-masters and ultimately master their craft. And I find that it's a very mindful and mindless activity at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like I can really clear my brain and not have to think about anything um, and just kind of be very present and work on the drawing and just be aware of like how things are shaping. Yeah. So creating these little small patterns over and over is, I, I just, I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. It's almost like you found your flow state. What I love about finding your flow is that it allows you to tune out from the world and tune into your craft. Taking the time to slow down, do the thing that you love, and get into flow is what makes you more productive. But more importantly, it makes you have a happier and more meaningful life. Now, Mihai Csikszent Mihai, who is the father of flow, teaches us how flow is directly correlated with increasing our productivity, our creativity, our learning, and overall well-being of life. If you're interested in checking out his TED talk, I will link it down below. I was reading this study that was saying that people who um, like to worry, they actually mm -hmm. just like to have a lot of control in their lives. Oh, yeah, I totally agree. So I love that you've, you know, kind of transferred that worry into, oh, let's be productive because mm -hmm. I can control that. So now I'm going to go yeah. do that and I'm going to produce some work, which is pretty sweet, right? It's a lot more constructive than sitting there waiting because I think that uh, if this was me like, you know, six years ago or something, I think my default would have been, okay, like how do I pass the time and wait? Uh, I'll put a movie on. I'll put a TV show on yeah. and I'll distract myself that way. Yeah. A lot of us are caught in this race of life and we don't really find the time to tune out in order to tune in. And Mihai Chiksent Mihai mentions how a lot of us are living with apathy because we do these things that occupy our minds, but we aren't actually challenging ourselves like watching television or being in the bathroom or sitting. I feel like I should stand. I know that I really started out as being a well-rounded, impatient person. <laughs> and <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah, but patience can be learned. And I think it's about finding the right way to learn it. For me, um, I read a really great book a couple summers ago um, called Craftfulness, I think. Okay. And it's essentially about finding mindfulness through craft mm. and about, like I said, being kind of being able to be productive and mindful at the same, sorry, yeah, mindful or mindless at the same time. And that's how I started knitting. That act of moving your hands in the same repetitive way and hearing the clicking of the needles, if, especially if you're using metal needles, yeah. it creates this rhythm that just calms you right out. So that's I think awesome. it's about, I think it's about finding the right way and knowing yourself to know like what should you be more patient with and for me it's waiting and how can I fill my my waiting with a way that's more constructive let's find things that we enjoy we have skills in and we find challenging because that is going to put us into flow state and I think it's a really constructive way to redirect our impatience into productivity okay I thought I would bring you guys back to 2009 where this was my studio and now we're surrounded by many works of art that I just never got around to finishing because I didn't have the patience.
So I'm going to take Mr. Cheeks at Me High's advice and really immerse myself into doing work that I enjoy, but also challenges me to really get into flow state. Now, I hope this video helped you reconnect with and really enjoy the journey of your pursuit, the pursuit of your craft that brings out your magic. That's it for me. I will see you in the next video.